So alright guys, once again, we've used Rook's interdimensional time portal and uh, we have hopped back in time. Don't worry, we won't be starting here. I have a hard save where we left off. I just used one of the backups here just to see. I've turned Fog of War off now. Now, is it the case where those guys' value, even though they were shown as maxed out, were wrong? And it looks like they were. They were 100% wrong. That is crazy. You, oh my god, yeah, you guys are right. I I didn't expect that. I might actually play with Fog of War off in this case because in the past, when something was listed as fully maxed out with four ticks in, in binoculars, then it was it was 100% accurate. So I, I don't understand why it would be completely different just with this off. I, is it supposed to put like more more emphasis on scout i guess so i guess it's maybe just supposed to put more emphasis on scouting or something like that but it it, it still kind of seems weird to me in the sense that what's the point of taking all that time to scout them and what's the point of that scouting system that's supposed to be you know accurate fairly accurate not very accurate and then you know not accurate and then completely unknown like what's what's the point of that system if it can still be wrong on so th so that's the only thing that weirds me out and that's great yeah that that's actually just like really crazy to me so I wonder what what makes it is that a glitch or is that like literally by design if it's by design I'm not a big fan of that like I said like what's the point of of the scouting system I would just play with fog of war off honestly if it was gonna be like that um I, I know that kind of sucks that it put it I don't like to play with fog of war off I like scouting but if the scouting system is is gonna be like that that's really weird like are you gonna are you if you, if you don't have like if you take all that time throughout the year to scout like one player and it says you know four ticks he's an elite and you draft him and he's not an elite is that gonna be a thing this year or is it only with player value if it's only with player value i almost feel like it's some kind of a glitch or maybe not by design, and I don't know. But thank you guys for uh, suggesting that. I'm, I'm glad I was able to access one of these backups because now we know. Now that I know, you know, it, it I, I can see, okay. But it just, I, it, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, yeah, they were saying that, but, you know, it was, it was the binoculars and the scouts saying, yeah, this is what his value is. So, okay, I guess when it's 100% accurate, it isn't actually 100% accurate this year. I'll have to try to ask. Um, EA, if, if that's actually by design or if that shouldn't be the case, because I was talking to Tugi about it and he was like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't know why that would be a thing. So, all right. So that's a thing here and we're going to be heading to the draft where we'll have a uh, fog of war off anyway to see what we draft. So it'll be easier. At least we'll know what we have here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really honestly considering leaving fog of war off then because I don't like it. If I'd spend time to scout someone and it says it's accurate. I kind of want it to be accurate. I guess, from a certain sense, logically, if you don't have the best scouts, it would kind of make a bit of sense. But to be that far off, these are pro scouts. Remember where Engval's value was? To be that far off when it says it's 100% accurate. You're a fucking NHL scout. They're, they're ranked C. It's not like they're Fs. These are supposed to be, you know, the average scouts. That, that makes me think that it's really not by design. But if it is by design, I'm not a huge fan of it, plain and simple. Anyway, let's get to the draft. And here's another thing, guys. Look look down in, in, in the bottom. Scouting accuracy legend. Four tick. Complete white binoculars means accurate. Semi-accurate, inaccurate, very inaccurate, unknown. So so that's that's where my confusion is. That's supposed to, you know, carry over for everything. So here at the draft, okay. That means that's like that, but is that not the same with player value? That's what's throwing me off here. I I I don't know, man. I this that's what I'm basing it off from the scouting accuracy legend interesting I, I I really don't think this is by design I don't I don't really think that it's supposed to be like that but whatever anyway all right so here are the draft lottery results Los Angeles goes up to first overall holy shit they are gonna be stacked uh Vancouver gets the second overall Columbus goes to three Anaheim back to four San Jose back to five Rangers at six, Edmonton, Edmonton at six. What the hell was wrong with them? Washington, look at all that. Was, okay, Dallas was bad, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. Dallas, Washington, Edmonton all missed the playoffs. 
Also, Columbus did. What? Okay. Oh, man. Uh, no, we could do that later after the interview stuff. You know, let me stop the simulation here. Oh, yeah, never mind. We still got all this stuff. I'm wondering if it'll stop in the right place because they moved the uh, draft interviews to prior to the draft now. I'm hoping they do anyway. Hosa, uh, Zetterberg, yeah, really no. Okay, Char actually retired. Damn it. I <laughs> wanted to keep playing. Oh, but yeah, he was in the FA anyway. I don't think anyone of note really is going to retire. It's mostly in the first year. It's all these like extra guys that were, you know, LTIR, stuff like that. Um, yeah, really no one retiring. Okay. I stopped the sim here. Let's see where it lands us. Uh, coach is retiring. I don't know. Oh, we did have... Uh, damn it. One of our coaches in the age all retired. I did, like, spend a bunch of time and get all, like, B and B or higher teaching. <laughs> well, all right. No one from our main staff, at least. So that's good. Kessler and Cra Cracknell becoming scouts. All right. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's do the pre-draft interviews. We, there might be someone up here who wants to wants to cough up picks. You know, there's a few high top six guys here. Um, even the, oh shit, oh my yeah. You know what? We could definitely move into this top ten. A sniper winger, a power forward winger. Ooh, injury prone. So we could try to move for this dude, Dylan Genther. Weak teammate utilization, but he is a sniper. Two-year ETA. Yuri Kasparitis. You know what? I'll, I, I'll, we're basically not going to be able to move for first overall. We might be able to move for this dude. So let's interview him. I think we, like, I don't know if we'll have the value, but we might be able to move up into somewhere in the top 10. Maybe not for this guy. This is, you know, but you never know. If, if it's on the block, we might be able to snag it. Okay, right on the cusp. Maybe a year. Ooh, interesting. He shouldn't ha need a year in that location, but all right. What's what kind of player is he? Um. Okay, two way. Yeah, I don't. I already don't like him. I'm not a huge fan of two way forwards in this game, just because of the chemistry system. It just it doesn't. They they really don't fit anywhere in 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 the chemistry system. <laughs> like you want grinders on your fourth line, and you can't change player types anymore. So there you go. You can't even. Try to make yourself fit within the uh, chemistry system by doing that. Can't change positions, can't change player types, none of that. Passionate two-way forward with the. I mean, it's, he's not bad or anything, but not someone I would snag. I'm really kind of liking the power forward. You always need a good. Oh wait, no, he's injury prone. Genther, nice sniper right there. Or you know, one of these high top sixes. Bunch of them, you know, center playmakers. Ooh, LaRue is good on face-offs, too. He could be a really good 2C. Oh, man. He's, this guy's not too physical. Joshua Roy, oh, four-year ETA, too. They're pretty uh, far off. Three-year ETA for LaRue. Yeah, that would be, like, a really, really solid 2C moving forward. But we don't even have a good future 1C. So, <laughs> honestly, Genther might be the better guy to go for. And I probably would. I mean, you always need a solid enough goal score. It doesn't say he has goal scoring as a strength. And, you know, his shooting's only a B. But, I don't know, man. Could still be good to pick up. But, yeah, it sucks. He can't freaking change player types anymore. That's crazy. Anyway. um, Oh, also, Brant Clark's available at, you know, 12. Our scout has him ranked at 15. I mean, this is a... He's, he's definitely... Fun. Dude, they really have him, like... Every time, he's always, like, got a bunch of years to... To get better. But, yeah. um, Our picks, obviously... I mean... We could probably move up for one, if not both of them. As long as the blocks are going to match anyway. Um, let's kind of shift back here. Let's see what this guy's like. Um, he'll probably be a top six, but I want to see what kind of player he is. Just because we have some interviews. There's, there didn't look like any goalies. That guy who was ranked at 84 turned out to only be a back, uh, excuse me, a backup. So not looking like it'll be a good year for goalies. Five-year ETA, holy. Sniper. Are those other guys around there five-year ETA? I don't think so. So is this guy bust or what? I hate how you have to click personality twice. There's literally only one option. I mean, I guess, yeah, it does make sense because you, you can also leave that area of the conversation. So if you accidentally click it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, five years, sniper passionate. 
These guys are all like four year ETA. Unless he's like Pinelli. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so that, that must be the switch right there. High top nine. I guess we could check out McCole or something like that. Where's the closest goalie? Is there a close goalie here? Probably not. Oh, look at this crap, man. How are all these guys just completely unknown? What are my fucking scouts doing on auto scout? No, seriously, what the fuck are my scouts doing? Holy shit. Oh, man. All right, let's 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 look at a goalie here. He's very nervous. Boris. Let's see what his ETA is like. Uh, Four-year ETA. So probably not going to be elite. Usually in the past, if they're going to be elite, they would have been like five-year ETA at that point. But hey, uh, you never know. Yeah, we'll get his personality. You know, goalies are always weird. Honestly, you know what? No. I'm not actually going to see what his strengths are. Because goalies, their chemistry matters a bit less, I think. I don't know. You never know. Let's just see what his, he considers his strength. Vision. That's actually pretty good. That could be a good thing. I don't know what he'll be. Let's see. Uh, Four-year ETA. His senses are pretty good. And it moved me back up to the top. Of course it did. Yeah, look how many unknowns there are. That didn't happen last year. I don't know, man. There seems like the lot is wrong right now with this game. Okay, but it doesn't give us a ton of information. We can always meet him. He's ranked pretty high. He's 19. Hmm. Maybe a starter. I don't know. He might be worth a second. He might be worth using a second on. Or we we have a bunch of thirds too, but we'd have to use a second to get him. We know nothing else about anyone else, so. <laughs> what else we gotta do? Alrighty. Oh, what was I gonna do? felt like oh yeah derp awards so calgary actually won the cup so we lost to the cup champions we took the cup champions to game seven that's kind of ridiculous so calgary won the cup winnipeg got the presidents and calgary took on philly in the finals and philly lost oof rough rough go for you philly mcdavid with the art ross uh hart memorial went to taylor hall norris went to carlson mckinnon lady bing um calder went to mayor Okay. Um, Gaudreau with the con Smythe. Vesna. Oh, that. See, I, I keep thinking it's Kem. Wait! Why? He must have got traded. Oh, that's probably what it was because he was on the Coyotes. He mu That's okay. When we were checking the stats because it was only showing like part of his stats from one club. Oh, that's probably it. He won the Vesna. William M. Jennings went to Hellebuck. Uh, Hampus Lindholm with the Masterton. Uh, yeah, our coach got the Jack Adams. You're damn right he did, dude. Coached his ass off with his trash team. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, Selkie to O'Reilly. Uh, Ted Lindsay to Hall. And he got the Mr. Shard. So three three trophies for uh, Hall. Yeah, I actually want to check that. Is that is that glitch still in this game too? Wow, Donskoy got stack growth. Man, he might be a trade asset. Speaking of stack growth, uh, yeah, I want to check that in a sec, but uh, let's 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 build up a little suspense to it. Let's first check out why Darcy Kemper. No, not Darcy Kemper. Auntie Ranta. So look, all right. So it shows those aren't those aren't Vezina stats, correct? But then you click on him, there it is. Yeah. So he he spent time on two different teams. He had an incredible year, and yeah, he did bounce up to an ADA. So. Uh-oh, was the wrong goalie exposed, but then they traded him. Let's see, hold on. Build the suspense, build the... I mean, I guess that's some stack growth. Goes from 85 to 86. Is that... Now, is that enough to trade the guy? Or I mean, he is on one year left. We do have Jonathan Quick. We probably want to start tanking. We might just, like, sell some of the farm here. I mean, yeah, probably to move up for a couple of leads. I think it's probably worth it. And then we can start tanking. Donskoy, yeah, Donskoy's up to 84. He got a 53-point season. Bounce up from 81 to 84. Probably time to trade him. He's worth his money now. I don't think it makes sense for us to hold on to him. Uh, advanced day. Get to the draft. There we go. We got the, uh, whatchamacallits on the fog, or fog of war off. Mar As I call it, the draft settings on is fog of war off. Very confusing. But, uh, yeah, here we go. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm totally not at this point. So let's do it. All right, now the trade's going to be weird in here. Hopefully not. Let's see. Anything on the block here? 
in the oh wow vancouver's pick ducks pick on the block okay well there's a few things on the block here the caps pick that four pick and, and who did we have there it was that that sniper at five that we might have wanted how much value is this though that's the question they're a buyer fourth overall that is a shit ton of value i don't know if we can get this we might have better luck getting the other one we might have better luck getting the two later ones i want to hold on to that to maybe get that goalie so we'd have to pair this with something else and what do they want do they want donskoy would that be enough value probably not Oh, man, he did bounce up quite a bit. Ah! They don't want our pick, but that... Here, all right. Well, let's reassess. Let's reassess before we make that move. How badly do we want that sniper with one year ETA? Or would we rather go for some of these other guys? So we can get... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Drat. Things moved around. Things really moved around. Who the fuck... Oh, wait, was the sniper back here? Yeah, the sniper was back here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Um... I mean, we can get Trevor Wong. There's your, there's your center. He has leadership. Oh my God, leadership ability, face-offs, offensive instincts. Holy shit, that's almost a can't miss. That's your future captain or alternate. Lack balance, lack size, physical play, but dude, get, get some, get some bigger boys around him. Holy hell. Um, I, I don't think we can pass that up. We can grab Trevor Wong here at four. That's, that's a future captain right there. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Throw Don Skoy in there and that first. Yeah, we're 100% going to move up for this. We might be able to trade uh, uh, Kemper for that other pick, too, if we really want to. Let's try that. Not quite. Quite far off. Uh-oh. Hmm. Do we have to give up the second? I wouldn't I wouldn't mind giving up the second. There's no telling that goalie is going to be anything really, really good. Um, do we have anything good value here? No. Kemper. I mean, he went up a bit. I don't think that was a huge amount. Who else could I trade in this? Strom. DeBrusque. DeBrusque bounced up a bit. I want to hold on to him. We signed him for a bit. He's going to need a spot fill. Backlund, Gambrell. Gambrell does have some decent value. I don't know why he's got that kind of value. Engvall. These are, these are like, this is accurate now, too. Also, Sammy Blay. Maybe you could throw Blay in. Hold on to Mitriev. Gambrell's on a year left. Engvall. Throw in Gambrell. He's less needed, especially if we're going to get a center. Let's throw Gambrell, Donskoy, and a first for the fourth overall pick. There we go. All right, maybe overextended a bit, but it is what it is. We just got that fourth overall pick, and now do we, uh, I wish one of these teams wanted to give it up. Capitals, though. Oh, this is going to be tough to trade for. I don't think they're going to want. Wait, they did get rid. Well, they still have Samsonov, so how they're probably not going to want. Kem they don't want Kemper, and that is not even close to enough. I don't know. I think we might only be able to get Trevor Wong here, which is still a, a huge dub. But, I mean, if we can get that plus a sniper for Trevor Wong in this draft, like, we're, yeah, he's ranked freaking 10th, man. But we could also go for Brant Clark if we could go, we can get ourselves a, uh, but he's pretty far off from competing. And if you looked at Genther, he's like, what, oh, two-year ETA? That's not bad at all. Wong is, oh, Wow. French oh fuck off LA holy sh dude their, their prospect pool is absolutely stacked now rip Pacific they're gonna get back to freaking 2012 2014 form aren't they holy crap man ah uh, so Brant like I wish we could trade for the 10th there's nothing else there it's like you have to go for the caps pick that's a lot of value though and I you know what I would be willing to give up that second I would along with Kemper the thing is they don't want either of these things we could we have some more of those players with perhaps well seemingly inflated value hold on let's see we have to take back a goalie in this that's not a huge deal um we use copley as the backup there we go there's your backup right there he's got no value 81 overall that's guaranteed so there you go we have quick and then copley as our as our goaltending tandem that's pretty easy he's got an extra year too so we know he's not going anywhere uh jonathan quick might start declining but whatever we're almost planning to tank next year you never know if quick has a good year get some stack growth probably not at his age and stuff but um edmondson damn it niku i like where he got myers i like where he's at these are both they they can both like cap out around yeah top six so so myers and niku are kind of both where we want them to be righty lefty there's like a top six pairing for the future unfortunately they don't want engval man you know what this guy might be? This Okay, Carlson might be an on-man out. That's just simply not enough value, though. 
I was really hoping they'd want to take Engvall off my hands. I might just throw him in there anyway. Kind of try to force this across. Because he's got good enough value, and I don't see him becoming anything really special. He's not bad, to be fair. He's really not bad. He's pretty good defensively. Not bad offensively. He's got decent face-offs. He's a good little player. But to get, you know, a future top-line sniper, this might be worth it. We have to take back another skater. Anyone serviceable? Yeah, they would like me taking that contract off their hands, probably. Let's throw panic in there. Let's see what they say to this. Okay, might have to throw that second in there, which I'm okay with giving up that goalie. There's no guarantee he's even a starter. Especially because the guy ranked at 80-something is a backup. Let's, okay, well, because of that, let's throw in two thirds instead. Hold on to the second, maybe take a gamble on that. Let's throw in a couple thirds. There we go. All right. So we got that pick as well. Yeah, much easier to fucking trade when you know the values. I should have actually cranked it back up to hard uh, trade difficulty. But I am kind of overextending, especially on that first one. So it's not the end of the world. Anyway, we got the 4 and the 8 now. And uh, yeah, traded away a lot, but we had to capitalize on some of that stack growth. It wasn't huge for Kemper, but that Donskoy jump was actually pretty big, man. That was actually a really good jump for us. So there we go. We got the four and the eight. That's all we're going to grab. Let's see who Vancouver gets. Uh, high elite, 70 overall. Takes some development, but that's what happens to some of those European players. Got to adjust. Uh, I think Ratu, though, he plays on the hybrid ice in Finland. So it's not a hu as big of an adjustment, but still. Anyway, Columbus, don't do it. Thank God. Okay, they get Kasparaitis, 73, medium elite, and Trevor Wong is ours. I mean, how how can you pass up on... Alright, so there's a good DFD here. Let's see what he says. Shut down, heavy slot shot, mobility, no weaknesses. That is freaking tempting. A good shut down defenseman is so tempting. <laughs> it is very tempting, but... Trevor Wong, leadership, face-offs, offensive instincts. This is a perfect combination. His weaknesses aren't that huge. Physical play, lack size, whatever. Balance, you know, could be a bit of an issue, but like I said, you get him a good sniper, put a power forward on that line, you don't really have to worry about that as much. And is Genther big? He's bigger. He's 6'1". I mean, put some meat on his bones, he'll be pretty good. So he'll be big. Get a power forward with him? Yeah. This is a future first line that we're putting together. Three-year ETA. So yeah, he'll take... Oh, wow. He'll actually take more time than Genther, but honestly worth it. For real, this is worth it. Trevor Wong. This is this will be worth the wait. Yeah, 65 overall, medium elite. It's it's, it's worth it. 100% worth it, man. It'll take a few years, but that's it is what it is. We'll be able to... It's actually good that we're getting the guys that will take a few years in this draft. Because the guys in the future, if we start tanking, they'll be closer to NHL ready. So then everyone's going to kind of start breaking into the NHL at the same time. At least that's the hope here. So here we are. Let's see who the Sharks grab. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no wonder. 76 overall. Shut down defenseman. Good. They need it. <laughs> uh, Rangers. They grab LaRue, who is honestly very good. Blackhawks. They get uh, Saget, who is 73. And we're going to get that sniper. Genther. Yeah, it doesn't say goal scoring, which I'm a little bummed about, but he is a sniper, so. If we get, like, a power forward who could also score some goals, maybe they could both be hybrid production. So let's go for Dylan Genther here. And he is a 68 meter elite. So they're both, are both of our prospects around the same overall. So while they're not, you know, the highest overall, etc. so forth, I think the tools that they have are, are, are good. I don't know. Like I said, I view Trevor Wong as a future captain. I mean, he's got leadership ability... <laughs> Everything was good. Plus, he's good on face-offs. Like that's, it's invaluable to have a good, a good, a good centered, um, especially in the face-off dot. And if he could put up points too, <laughs> and if he could lead a team, I'm sorry, no question, had to do that. All right, up to the 53rd pick. Now we could actually choose that goal. You know what? Let's see what else went in this top 10. Let's see who else goes. Stillinger to Edmonton. Jeremy Roy to. Uh, the Red Wings, another elite Carson Lambos looks like uh, Brant Cl No, they pass on him. It looks like uh, Devil's going to get Brant Clark. There he goes, Brant Clark to the Devils. Minnesota passed. They <laughs> got two, two left wingers. Top six dudes instead of an elite defenseman. Get good. You could have had... Okay. 
All right, and that's pretty much it for that. So let's sim up to our own pick here. Top nines, top sixes, low top six. There's a top six forward. I almost thought that was a top six D for a minute. More top six forwards way up there, though. So these are all unknowns to us, too. So there's the only thing that's semi-known is this is Prokorkin. I, I kind of want to hope for uh, he's 19. I'm kind of hoping for a starter here. In the system I don't really see a reason to really blind pick anyone else I have no clue what's going on so let's try for Boris Prokorkin there we go we got to start he is 19 at 58 so it's not great but we got a starter so we at least got that out of him you, you never know you never know what he develops into obviously better feels an elite but I don't think that was really in the cards here for the goaltending class of this year but I don't know we'll see what he develops into up to the 112 we go we got rid of both of our thirds here um two picks for one not this year i'm pretty sure the seventh round is all ahl dudes you know uh, this is pretty bad here too but hey top nines top sixes might be able to find something um low nah another goalie high but that's probably ahl yeah both those guys are pretty bad maybe pick a defenseman bend a hon bend a knee yeah let's go for a defenseman Ah, below seven. Still kind of pretty much blind picking friggin' everything. His name should be Purple. Come on. You're a goalie. Yeah, not a whole lot of good stuff going on here. Oh, Ben Hunt's still there. Okay, we're going with him. Fantastic mop, man. Fanta- Oh, fuck off. Your hair is so misleading. You should be a stud. Unreal. All right, so a couple bad picks right there. Here's what it is, though. These these are pretty uh usually pretty bad. This guy's 17 from Yippy Voskala. Another defense. Why? Why am I? Oh shit! That worked out. Low top four. Picking so many. All right, we got to pick some forwards here. That's <laughs> way too many. Def oh, nice French starter. Way too many forwards right there. Is there another French starter? Could be. Cuff 19. Sure. Sure. We'll give him a chance. Another French starter. Not bad better value than the sixth that's all you can ask for really still in the six here another low top four from sweden by the looks of it so is there a swedish defenseman here nope there's a finnish defenseman low there's another french starter goalie but we really don't need that another sweet here could be now he's a medium so probably not anything special doubt any of these guys will be something special this guy cannot be a low top four unless the scout is wrong which eh. Well, he hasn't been scouted in a while, but he is Finnish and not in the same league as the other guys, so less chance that he kind of lines up. I'll go for this, dude. I don't think he'll be anything special, but nope, not anything at all. Uh, yeah, now we're at the point where it's just you're not going to really find much of anything. That's why I didn't want to trade for those later picks. Yo, except for this guy. Could bounce up to low top six, could stay at low top nine, might be a grinder. You know, you know me and grinders. Bottom six, but he is the grinder. If he develops, you never know. Not a huge chance he develops, but you never know. Say, sit still. Better than an AHL. We'll see how our development is. Another low here, 19. Probably go with this guy. Yeah, Gabriel Ronick. Ah, low bottom, damn, and he's a playmaker. Oh, dude, we have another freaking seventh. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we didn't trade for the extra seventh. Now, I forgot how many sevens we picked up. Kind of looking at the blind picks here. There's a guarantee. Oh, another guarantee. Yeah, I got, I got to do it. Well, he's 19, five-year ETA too, so really not likely to get anywhere. But he is another grinder. It is, and I got to do it. I got to do it. You got to go for grinders when they're available. Let's do it. 51 at 19. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, well. Got a couple grinders there. You can't go wrong with grinders, but the uh, the big ones, Wong and Genther, probably future line mates. Wong, probably a future captain. And Prokorkin, you never, you never know what he's going to turn out to be. That a few, uh, yeah, the rest of it wasn't great. But that's, that's what you come to expect in that first year. All right, up to the resign phase we go. And I don't have my phone near me, but whatever. 
if Coburn doesn't want to come back, that's all right. We kind of don't need him. The other two guys will be ready to jump into the NHL now. So, or Nico at least will. Uh, Bluger, 100% getting you back. I like you. That's kind of steep. All right, now I really need my phone. Give me a sec. All right, so if everything goes well, we can get this guy for 1-8, I believe. Yep, I have to 1-8 uh, for three years. That's worth it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. He, it's because it's the re-sign phase, not, ooh, TVR. Oh, TVR doesn't want to come back? No, 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 I can't get rid of No, you have to get TVR back. Shit. Okay, that works. Um, let's do that for one year. We can afford that. Yeah, let's over overpay him a bit for one year. We have plenty of cap space. We got to get, ooh, Carlson. Okay, let's try that. Let's get him for a couple years at that price. And that's 1.4 for two. Might not be able to get him for that, but we'll try it. Again, the 15% trick works a lot more um, for like midseason extensions. Balsers. Eh. I mean, AHLer. He could be good on the E. he Yeah, he's, he's got high enough offensive stats. He's a good ringer. So, yeah, we'll keep him. Couple years there, Folin. He was not bad for depth, to be honest. Eh, he's not great. His defense could be better. I like Sutter for depth or otherwise. We did get rid of a few guys. So let's actually see how many guys we can get for uh, under the price here. What the fuck's wrong with my throat right now? <clears throat> yeah, probably get rid of Folin. Go for someone else. He's not amazing. Like it's he's okay defense. You know what? He is a righty too. That was kind of good. How did he fit? Oh, we don't. Yeah, scheme schemes are all dumb. So, Bittner, same thing for AHL. We kind of can't get rid of those AHL guys right now. We need them to fill in the contracts for a bit. Rempal, Nyberg, neither of these guys really looking like they'll become anything. But hold on to him. Why not? This guy could be depth of the future. Probably not, but. Yeah, he's already 24. I mean, he has to get up to about 20, 77 to be depth. Again, uh, Thurry. We can sign him in Wong because there'll be exemptions. So let's do that. Sign you. Don't have to sign you. Sign Wong. Westerland. Sure. <laughs> I mean, 60 at 22. Not great hope, but hey. Uh, hold on to Montembeau. Yeah, he's, uh, he's again, another kind of future backup. Yeah, we picked up Copley here. You know, maybe we throw Montembeau up in to be the backup. And then use this guy down. And Ingram. Can, ooh, wait, maybe we use Ingram. Oh, wait, this is minor star. Ooh, rough stuff. Well, I mean, really, how much is he going to grow? Well, he does have starter. I mean, what's his max? Probably 81, 82. Probably. Montebo's kind of done. I don't know. Maybe we tender trade Montebo. Could be good to throw. I'll, I'll tender him for now because I'm not too sure. They're both kind of back. I mean, if we, if we give Ingram the starting minutes in the AHL. We could always trade Montebo at any time, though, to be honest. Or Copley, or Quick. Well, not really Quick. <laughs> no, 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 skip that. No one's going to take that contract. If it was one year left, we could... Well, we could honestly retain with two years left and not have anything really bother us. We can go Copley, Montebo, and Ingram, someone else in that. We'll see. I'll tender him for now. I'll kind of mold that over in my head. I could, I, I'd could. i be fine tendering or uh, retaining. We might just want to absolutely tank this year. I think we could find someone better than full end. Well, we already have a depth guy, and he worked out pretty well last year. He kept chemistries were actually kind of good with him. So honestly, when you have a decent depth guy, don't give him up, even though he's not incredible. We don't need him to be incredible, right? We're not that kind of team right now. All right, let's advance today. Let's see if any of those. Yep, yep. Um, okay, Sutter didn't like the price. We got Van TVR back though. Got Bittner, Carlson, Rempel. Um, full end didn't like the dollar value. We got Nyberg. Genther, Wong, 
We got Westerland. All right. Okay. So most of them accepted the uh, discounts. It was just uh, just Brandon Sutter who didn't. I think I'll still hold. I don't really see a reason not to hold on to him. So yeah, fine. I'll give you whatever. We'll boost you up. We have plenty of cash. We're probably not even going to land any big fish in free agency either. So yeah, same th same with Folan. We'll give you one one. Just get out of here. We got money. Do I, want, I I might as well sign Monta. Well, I don't know if I want to hold. Well, we all right. You know what? We can we can keep tender. Look at the market. See if there's a market to move quick. And then we can go Copley Montembeau. And then have Ingram get starting minutes. Maybe he gets up to 81, 82 if we do that. And then sign someone in free agency. Yeah, so we'll keep Montembeau tender. Check out the trade market. If it doesn't look good, we'll keep Quick as a starter. I don't think he's going to be able to get stack growth, even if he has a really good year. I just don't think that'll happen. Plus, I mean, we're not going to have a good year. Might as well throw in a couple lower goaltenders, right? Who just don't matter. Not that Quick matters, but you know what I mean. All right, we, am I done? I think so. Oh, besides, uh, yeah, Sutter and Folan need to sign. Sutter, Folan, there we go. And now we're done. 42 men under roster, and we just have Montembeau tender. Okay, so there's a re-sign phase. Pretty easy. Pretty quick. And up to free agency we go. All right, now the question is... Do I go? Do I want to play with Fog of War or not? With the way it is right now, I kind of don't want to play with it. <laughs> because if things aren't fucking accurate, unless it's just trade value. Maybe it's just trade value that isn't accurate. I don't know. It's, it's dumb. Whatever. Yeah, I'm still salty. Whatever, dude. I mean, you saw the legend down there. You saw what it's supposed to mean. Although, here's the thing. It actually doesn't list trade value as part of this so maybe trade value is never accurate and that do, and the legend doesn't apply to it which is of course why they use the same exact visual legend for it is that it oh yeah it's not the same <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm gonna die on this hill guys get fucking used to it you will find I'm the most stubborn person available uh, oh, well I don't know on YouTube or in the world but I'm very very stubborn all right Agents. We'll see what the class looks like. Again, I don't think we're going to grab any of these guys. Gallagher, oh, Nuge, Barry, Hyman, Zingle. I mean, we can get, maybe get some a guy or two down here if we want. If we want to try to boost some other guys up. We have to look at what are... We can afford, like, a free agent. But, like, it'll have to kind of... I want to make it kind of make sense. Like, getting stall, that won't make sense. Guy, you know, in his prime, kind of a, you know, a fringe type guy who could be a top six. He's like too good for the third line, but not quite good enough for the second line. We can maybe, you know, get him, get him into that, uh, give him that extra push. Because we got Strom here. We need some guys to put around Strom. Or we need an entirely new, first. we still got Backlund for first line. Um, Blake can still be that first line, but we need a new right winger. Maybe someone who can get some stack growth. I'm looking at Neil. I'm going to throw Neil on the fucking first line. Jesus. He's not even good for the third line. He's terrible defensively. All right. So is there anyone like that we can maybe, you know, maybe have another chance to get some stat growth like uh, Donskoy did for us. Give him a, you know, a, few, a couple year deal. Tatar. I mean, he's 30. Shiri. What kind of player is Tatar? Sniper, I'm pretty sure. He, look, he does look pretty... Ooh, man. Tatar could be very, very... You know what? Tatar could be that guy. Yeah, he's 30. I won't give him five years. So it's like, yeah, he's 30, but he's in that position where it's like he needs to kind of prove himself, right? What's he done? Look at him. What's he done lately? I Okay, he did come off... Oh, wow. Well, that was a real year. Came off 61 points in 68. That's not huge regression. 40 points in 61 games played. Uh, he's not really in a prove yourself situation. Okay. Um, Shiri might be, but he's a playmaker, right? That doesn't. Ex That's not. Doesn't really fit. Chase on. I don't know. No team's interested in him. 
the zing goal, he's gonna have, yeah, he's gonna have point. But hey, that's a guy, honestly, who's... But a two-way guy, I don't know, man. Gets laugh. Again, that he's he wants to go chase, you know, he wants to be in contention. Krejci, none of that makes sense. Maybe someone like Tanner Pearson, but he's more of a... Still looking like more of a third liner. Pretty expensive, but he only wants a year. I don't know. You could you could throw him onto a top line situation. But honestly, if I'm gonna get someone, I want that I want a sniper. But we could get like Felino's available, but yeah, no, Tatara really kind of jumps out at me. He's a guy that we could throw on that first line, might be able to have a good year, give him like a two or three year deal. And uh, we're going to need some kind of an AHL backup, which, well, maybe. <laughs> Hunty Ronta wants 9 mil. And that should bounce up because we switched it back, right? He'll bounce up to, what was it, 88 or 89 that he was going to be at? Tuka Rask wants even less. Yeah, he's already got two teams interested in him. Hunty Ronta, good luck getting paid, buddy. But great year to do it. Well, that's quite a lot of money there, bud. Anyway, speaking of which... Let's check out what the trade market looks may look like for Jonathan Quick. Again, I honestly have been really, really freaking tempted to play with Fargo War off because this is inaccurate, apparently. Even though it's got four ticks with the binoculars, it's not accurate. Because that makes fucking sense. So yeah, we'd have to retain at 50%, which again, not a huge deal for the next couple years. We're not going to be a big spending team. Not really going to be contending. So, I mean, it'd be a 2-9 contract given to someone for a pretty damn good backup. Now, yeah, Toronto likes him. The Blues, the Sharks. Okay, there's a good enough market. So I think, I definitely think that you, uh, <laughs> LA wants him. Well, I definitely think that this is a trade that we can make. And in which case, Montembeau is out the door. Yeah. So where do we send Jonathan Quick? Probably to the Leafs, man. Yeah, probably to somewhere like the Leafs. All right. Well, that's okay. So we know the trade market for Quick is actually kind of good. Um. Yeah. And let me know, guys. Should I just play with Fog of War off until that is kind of sorted, or is that supposed to be, like I said, by design? And I can experiment with better scouts and stuff and see if they did it. Sorry if a few seconds ago I hit the mic. Um. Yeah, so, I don't know, man. I'm torn on it, because I don't think that Fog of War should behave th that way, or the scouting thing should behave that way, you know? Like, the trade value, if you get the accurate potential, if you have the accurate overalls, you know, the sum, the median, or whatever, the <laughs> that should calculate into the trade value. So, it's like, if, the tra if only the trade value is inaccurate, what the hell? Like... What's the point of the scouting system? Like I said, and I'm beating that dead horse and I'm dying on this hill and there's nothing you can fucking say about it. Try me in the comments. I will get in there and I'll, I'll continue being stubborn. Plain and simple. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, hit that like button, especially about those free agency signings. Let me know. Uh, yeah, leave that like and I'll see you guys in the next one.